Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and a Life Path number seven. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate or connect with this reading. So today, everyone, I am here with a channeled messages reading from your person for all of my Pisces who are watching. So if you have Pisces as your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or anywhere in your chart, then this reading may resonate or apply to you. So Pisces, your person is whoever is currently on your mind right now. You two may be in separation and communication at a distance from one another. Just whoever in your heart is your person, that's your person, and you'll know. Before I do go ahead and officially begin and get started, Pisces, please keep in mind that this will be a general reading for your sign, so it may or may not resonate for you specifically, and if it does not, Pisces, please don't take it personally. But without further ado here, let's go ahead and officially begin and get started for you, Pisces. Let's see what energy we do have making its way towards you. All right, can we please receive a couple messages for my Pisces, please, when it comes to love? Who's this person making their way towards Pisces? Or who's this person that Pisces is dealing with? And what do we need to know about this person in their energy, please? So far, we have four messages. All right, so all together, six messages for now. Let's go ahead and officially get started. Very first message is, I'm sorry, I, I'm sorry I can't solve your insecurities. I'm sorry I can't solve your insecurities. I hope to make things right with you. Please don't leave me behind. I feel like I'm difficult to love. I feel like I'm difficult to love. We also have, we've experienced different types of hurt. Don't say I didn't try. I want to elevate my life with you. And I miss our phone calls at the end of the day. So Pisces, it seems like this is not someone new, someone that could be an ex or past energy i do apologize if you're not wanting to hear about the past or any exes but that is what we have all together so far this could also be the recent past but i feel like this is someone who couldn't deny the bond that you two were forming it felt it felt good it felt amazing but i feel like someone this person wasn't healed or they weren't mature enough to handle this type of connection and I feel like for you, Pisces, you may be able to relate to any doubts, any flaws or insecurities that we may feel about ourselves. But it's like you choose to override that because that's not what you want to replicate in the future, in the present moment with this person. You want to curate love and you want to grow past the hurt that you've experienced that this person has experienced so that leads me to our first message we've experienced different types of hurt don't say i didn't try your energy pisces you being understanding to this person's traumas or their triggers here because you've had your fair share or you've had your own experiences dealing with hurt and you've tried to accommodate them you've tried to help them you've tried to be that listening ear but that doesn't mean that you can walk over me that you can ignore me or disrespect me i'll try because i feel for you but i won't just tolerate anything and also if you want this to work with me give me something to work with so we've experienced we've experienced different types of hurt don't say i didn't try your energy pisces i i'm sorry i can't solve your insecurities your energy you're sorry but not sorry because it's not on you you can do only so much to help this person but it's not all on you it doesn't all stem from you you can relate you could try to help them through understanding but it's going to come from them you can't get them to see what you see or feel how you feel pisces so i'm sorry i can't solve your insecurities your energy pisces i want to elevate my life with you this being your energy you don't want to dip back into the past. You don't want any toxicity. You don't want low vibrational energy. You're looking to grow. You're looking for that growth mindset shared between the both of you. Gradual growth between us. Slow and steady. But let's, of course, misunderstandings or hurdles come about. 
we get through them but if we constantly take steps backwards and backwards i'm not here for that for that i'm not here for it it's not exciting so i want to elevate my life with you this being your energy pisces i feel like i'm difficult to love i do feel like this is this person's energy pisces but i feel like the love that you showed them showed this person that you're not difficult to love the right people will love you and i'm one of those people and of course it may have not amounted to love but i feel like the interest was there pisces please only take what resonates for you so it's like this person may have self-sabotaged this connection. I miss our phone calls at the end of the day. Could be a shared energy. These phone calls were an intimate time for you and this person, but it also felt like just that heart to heart as well as quality time was being shared and spent with one another. And also to check the temperature of this connection, to really close the day out together, knowing how each other like feels or what happened that's like a very special it can be a very special moment just to talk about what happened in each other's days or how you both are feeling so we have that message and last but not least for now i hope to make things right with you please don't leave me behind this person's energy pisces but i feel like you being standoffish or you retracting it it went to show them that you're not about to put up or chase them or even no matter how much you care for them, how much you want this to work, you're not about to do that to yourself, Pisces. Let's go ahead and pull the last couple messages for my Pisces, please. When it comes to this energy of love, two more messages, one more message. All right, so we will officially get started with what we have last. I'm afraid to make the first step because of what could go wrong. Match my energy so I know it's safe to come closer. It feels like we lost what we once had. Last but not least, I'm hiding my feelings for you because once I let them out, things will get real. All right, Pisces. So I do feel like something like the trust or just feeling secure with this person, it has been damaged or dented here. Match my energy so I know it's safe to come closer, this being your energy. I feel like your love was gentle towards this person, but depending on what happened or how they treated you, it made you feel like you shouldn't come any closer to this person or made you feel like you were at high risk to get hurt from them. So not a feeling that you wanted to feel that you were inviting to happen. So match my energy so I know it's safe to come closer, your energy. It feels like we lost what we once had. This could be your energy as well, Pisces. It's like when someone shows us the complete 180 of the person we thought we were getting to know, it's like we can move on, but that image of this person is still in our mind. So it feels like we lost what we once had. Not feeling the same about this connection anymore, Pisces. I'm afraid to make the first step because of what could go wrong. I feel like this could be a shared energy. For you, Pisces, if you want to still pursue this connection, you may be thinking about what has led up up until now and if that is enough of a reason to not proceed any further with all the red flags or just witnessing what you did or feeling how you have felt. As far as this person's energy, I feel like it goes into them self-sabotaging, letting their fears project onto this connection instead of just taking the chance in being vulnerable with you and last but not least i'm hiding my feelings for you because once i let them out things will get real this person's energy pisces it's like them hiding their feelings instead of expressing it and just being an ounce of vulnerable towards you i feel like they think about what could go wrong like that message says but also the quote unquote power or control that you would have Pisces just knowing how you feel and that's not that's not healthy so it's not healthy in the sense where in order to build this there's trust needed so let's see what signs may be relevant our first sign is Pisces could be done with another Pisces we have Scorpio Leo Pisces Scorpio Leo one more sign please and that is cancer so some water energy and leo 
But Pisces, I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that for today. As always, I appreciate the love and support. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.